In addition to providing disaster relief in Bhaktapur City, Nepal, the Tsuji Disaster Relief and Medical Team is also planning to offer aid in other hard-hit areas and has traveled to Sidhu Pakchuk district to assess the damage in Milamchi town. To assess quake-related damage in other hard-hit disaster areas, Tsuji volunteers travel from Kathmandu to Sindo Pachuk district's capital, Chatara. Along the way are collapsed houses and broken roads, as 90% of the houses in Chatara have been destroyed, and many cars are still buried in rubble. Dr. Chen, uh, he's the deputy uh, superintendent of uh, our Taiping Tsuji. As many international aid organizations are offering assistance here, the local government hopes Tsuji volunteers can assess the needs of Malanchi. So what is the name of the district? Okay. Sindupachu. Sindupachu. Okay. The okay. capital is uh, Chatara. And we are going to move to Malanchi because it's close to the government. Ah, okay. After a bumpy ride on the rough roads, the volunteers finally arrived in Malanchi. This is Melamchi, about an hour's drive away from Kathmandu, on steep mountain roads. This is a flat valley region, and 98% of the houses have been damaged. To reconstruct houses on the flat ground, building prefab houses would be easier. 50 schools have been damaged, so rebuilding schools is also important. About 12,000 students will need classrooms to resume their classes, so we are considering this. While schools need to be rebuilt in Malanchi, medical assistance is also needed here. Medical teams from Japan and the Czech Republic are here, but they will leave soon. We are assessing the possibility of continuing their work, and if it is feasible to do so, we will set up a medical service station here to provide a free clinic. The volunteers also look for a suitable site to build prefab houses. We can't build a dye village near the river as the water will rise, so we want to find a site on higher ground. This is a hard hit region and 99.9% .9 of the houses have been destroyed. There might be aftershocks and we need to stay safe, so we might still stay in Kathmandu. Moved by Tsuji volunteers' efforts, the local military is willing to provide camps for the medical team members to rest, as well as offering other assistance.